East Dimapur Town Council Office inaugurate Kuria Humoy, Urban Development La Advisor, Zalio Rio, Dimapur De Media Fraternity Khange Kota Kuria Humoy Kuise. Dimapur Ekla De Huilibi 20,000 Upo Trade License Aro Dukan Permit Register Huigina Se. Huilibi 6 to 7,000 Nishna Manu Ekla Ahe Kuise License Khan Renew Kurubule. Aro Ena Ektabra Revenue De Bishi Loss ISA Kuigina Janai Dise. Governor La Order Bra Check Gate Khan Bon Huija Laga Aro. Urban municipalities they excess employees thaki jala abhi address kuri se. Abhi ito la details sa ho. No, no. Yeah. In my opinion, see we have the population that we cannot deny in Dimapur. And why that erstwhile Dimapur we have to go for three districts. These are purely for administrative convenience. In the like manner, we are creating a different ULBs. This is with a view to maintain, manage our garbages better and provide better services to the citizens. That is all about it. Although there is no other motive or no other bad intention. When we talk about cleaning, let us not drag this issue into this. That is totally outside the purview of our discussion. But definitely even uh, ULBs, they can also realize taxes. It is very much in the municipal act. Oh, it was there. Let me correct myself. What? No, if we have to strictly go by the sanction post, maybe we have to work uh, work out the staffing patterns. But it also depends on the size of the municipal and also on the workload. So right now we are managing on uh, mostly there are very few sanction posts, but managing on ad hoc basis to address the immediate issue. No, no, we have been having preliminary talks, but now the case is pending in the court, Honorable Supreme Court, so it's subsidized. So once these issues are resolved, or over, then only we'll come to the real picture. But government, we want to resolve this issue first, and then hold the uh, ULB elections. See, for East Dimawar Town Council, even the administrator, she has been telling me, she has been writing, here too, they don't even have a proper skeleton staff also. Course, but with that, they are managing. Uh, what I asked yeah. Really no, see, that's why I said, it's eating away all the to meet our requirements. And it is the urban local body concern. They should move for post creation, isn't it? But ad hoc appointment means those are appointed just to address the immediate problem. So if there are short of staffs, if there's any manpower shortages, they should move for uh, post creation. But I've been telling the ULBs, you have to increase your revenue collection. And there's a risk of for increase of revenue collection, but which has not been properly tapped. So now I'm into, see, digitization of all the shop permits and uh, trade permits. Example, Dimapur is a very sorry figure. On paper, we have about 20,000 shop permits or trade permits being registered. But hardly 6,000, 7,000 are coming forward for renewal. This is where we're losing our revenue. So I put the DMC administration to task. And I'm happy he's doing every day. And uh, this is how even renewal are increasing. Then we have also cancelled the old one and we're going in for new registration. With this, our revenue should increase tremendously. I'm hoping on that line. And in similar manner, we'll introduce in all the ULBs. No, no, for now it is banned, but uh, I'm taking up that uh, it should be again reopened.